we are used to seeing events and decisions in our daily lives. If you look at newspapers, uh, tweets, Facebook posts, whatever it is, they mainly highlight all the events that is uh, happening around. Uh, and newspapers and news channels highlight various decisions it has been taken. Uh, in response to events or in anticipation of some events or things like that. Uh, but that has been the primary focus how we have been uh, looking at things where it is uh, things are happening like a discrete set of events that has been happening and uh, everything is in news for some time after that it disappears from our uh, radar some other news catches on. So, that kind of view we call it as an event oriented view uh, where the focus is for, uh, on only one particular uh, few events and few decisions uh, often seen as being disconnected with each other right. Like even in newspapers, there are so many articles that is going on, but when we read it, we read it like it is all uh, different events, it has not, nothing to do with each other. Some may be rightly so, some may be not, we are not really sure, but we do not uh, look at things um, in that fashion. We look at things as disparate set of events that is happening uh, at different places with different people uh, for different uh, problems or uh, actions. But in a systems viewpoint, what we encourage to do is to look at what is called as these patterns of behavior. What we mean by that is we want to see how things are evolving over time. So, it is not just a disconnect set of events, but the things are actually changing over time. So, that aspect is what we call as uh, patterns of uh, behavior that we are interested in whether things are going to be improving or things are slowing down or is it just in a happening in a cyclic pattern. So, those are the things that we want to understand and discover. And of course, for uh, more long lasting efforts what we want to do is try to influence the system structure itself. So, in a systems theory or in a systems viewpoint we will come to understand that system structure is what is going to drive the behavior of the system which in turn is going to cause various events maybe uh, sporadic events or regular events periodic events whatever it is but it is underlying system structure that is driving these behaviors which in turn is causing all these events right so if we want to actually leverage for a long lasting change we need to start looking at system structure understand the structure and try to influence the structure itself maybe through policy design or maybe through appropriate setup of the system structures while if you are going to keep reacting to the events and decisions, then our leverage point will be very low because we are only solving that particular problem in that particular instant, but the problem has not gone away. It may come back much later, maybe not to you, maybe to somebody else. Uh, so, this can be actually classified like this also, like when we are uh, actually looking at events and decisions, they are said to be reactive. If you are looking at patterns of behavior, then we are being adaptive as uh, one simple example of behavior that could be uh, the rainfall patterns based on the rainfall that is occurring. We know it is going to happen uh, every year, we do not know exactly when it is going to happen, we do not know exactly uh, what date, how much quantity, uh, but come monsoon season we are all prepared, we get our raincoats, we get our uh, umbrellas etcetera, we are prepared to handle it. It right? is so, a kind of adaptive behavior that we exhibit, but if you want to really uh, result in lasting change, then we need to look at uh, generating these behaviors by influencing the systems structure. So, that is what we are going to be doing in this course. How we how to do this is by distancing ourselves away from these events just far enough that the events start to blur and we start to see the patterns and the behaviors that happen over time and that is one. Second one is we want to see various other components that is also there within the system and how they are being uh, linked with each other. So, we want to move away from this discrete events view or a view that there are events that is happening at discrete uh, points in time uh, disconnected with each other to a view where multiple things are being connected and how the behavior is changing over time. So, that is pretty much what we were going to do. Now, let us see how we have been 
solving problems. Traditionally, we are very comfortable in this what is called as a open loop thinking, where we come up with first identify some problem, then gather data, evaluate alternatives, um, select solution, implement. So, this is true in not only in student projects, but also in real life. People want to uh, like a new district administration comes, new government comes, they always try to list a set of problems and say, okay, what is the best we can do about it? And then um, suggest a solution. Need not the solution need not always be the optimum solution or the fair solution, but some solution gets implemented, and then um, it gets implemented. Sometimes even evaluation, etc., also doesn't happen. Improvement may not happen. So that's a typical open loop thinking that we do. Uh, when especially when dealing with uh, solving things which are not connected with oneself. I will come to it in a minute. One extension of that is this event oriented view. We just saw that there are events and decisions happening. So, that means there is already some situation that has arise and we have in our mental picture there is some goal for the system. This is how it should be and this is where we are. So, okay, there is a gap. Okay, the gap is perceived as a problem that has occurred. Uh, okay, now how to solve the problem? Let us take some decision which will uh, affect it and then we expect that the result should happen. Many times that result may not be what we want, right, or it may not be lasting long enough to result in a sustained change in addressing the problem completely. Like, for example, if the goal is to say uh, there should not be any, uh, um, let us say, uh, hungry people in the city, okay, there is a problem that is the situation is there are so many people who are without uh, access to good food. Okay, and the goal is that everybody should have uh, good food or complete nutritious meal. Problem is identified. You can start a massive campaign and you can cook and do meals to everybody. It will address the problem today or for this round. But people are going to get hungry in the evening, then they are going to get hungry tomorrow, day after. So, how do we ensure that they are going to get nutritious meal every day continuous? Suddenly, the problem becomes much more difficult. Because it is not just, just not question of okay, they have so much meals, let us just cook it and start giving people. It becomes little more complex because it is not just a uh, there is no such a what can I say a technical solution to all the problems, especially when we consider economic, social, environment kind of issues. So, let us suppose put yourself in a situation. Uh, imagine you become some mid level manager. Many of you lose your hair, you can't help it. You are a manager, you are nicely whatever, whatever job, dream job, you will be working there for the last 15, 15 years, maybe you are late 40s. Um, then what do you do? There are so many problems and so many issues that is coming up every day, and based on whatever data you have and whatever information you have, you have to take a decision. And through the decision, what you are going to do is, so you are going to solve the problem, you are going to push the decision away, um, you are good, you have to push the problem away by doing an appropriate decision and you will be evaluated for that and probably you will get rewards, management will promote you, yes you have nicely solved the problem, the sales was down, now you got a rapid uh, improvement in the sales, it affected my uh, this quarter's profit. So, you are going to get your nice rewards and nice uh, what can I say dinner treats and uh, fly to various conference and events and headquarters etcetera etcetera. So, you do uh, you do enjoy the outcomes that arise out of decisions that you made and that is what makes you the manager and you like what you are doing. But sometimes after whatever happened could at some point in future could go all the way around and hit you, but this happens repeatedly, this happens repeatedly and people are finding it difficult to learn from this, why? In this figure what we are trying to see is what are decisions that you are taking today can have something of an impact later. We know in our mind it is going to happen, but we 
still do not learn from it as much as we are supposed to do. Why is that? Why do you think it is? You are not aware of the system, ok. What else? Hmm? Yeah, what else? Limited information, ok. Ok, so uh, we made the decisions keeping short term objectives in mind or short term goals in mind or short term rewards in mind without worrying about the long term consequences of what it could lead to or what it may lead to ok that is good that is great. What else? Anything else? So, adding to that when you say short term and long term inherently what it we are addressing is that there is some sort of a delays as soon as they start making decision it does not come back immediately. There is a long delay before things uh, all the consequences of decisions come out even if you want to gather data there it takes some time. So, we are taking decision and what all it has implications and everybody has to react accordingly and then it has to come back. So, after delay there could be a feedback on the system, but sometimes it need not come back to you you already taken nice decision you got promoted. So, somebody else will be sitting there. So, uh, that also may discourage you to say ok it will be somebody else's problem I have done it I have done a good job, uh, but unfortunately that fellow will be in a bigger mess and you will be in a position to evaluate the person and that person cannot even tell you that he is in the mess because of your decision few months earlier. So, he has to answer to you on why the company is in a mess right. Uh, so, feedbacks focus on short term goals rather than longer term or short term rewards rather than long term uh, goals and delays within the system can uh, prevent us from understanding or learning from this as much as we can. What else? And uh, some other points was covered saying we are not aware of the full system structure. Um, so, we do have that. Uh, short term focus, delays, feedbacks, unintended consequences, unanticipated consequences. So, you are not aware, I do not know your system structure, but unfortunately, that just cannot uh, continue now. Uh, it is not my fault, uh, there is a common adage, if at all it is, you had made the decision. So, but how much can we consider that we will see? Maybe there could be some counterintuitive behavior and policy resistance came to nice decision, but unfortunately, people resisted that change uh, that is called as policy resistance, or you thought something will happen, but you know uh, the behavior is counterintuitive to what was expected. These are reasons why, and the delays and feedbacks uh, makes it little more difficult for us to learn if you do not do it in a very systematic fashion. So, what we are going to do in systems thinking? Let us try, uh, let us try to do a bit of systems thinking. A popular Chinese proverb, you might have seen it give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime, right? You would have, many of you must have heard it. Is this adequate? We teach a man to fish, nice technical skill that has been given to this person. Is it sufficient so that he earns his livelihood for a lifetime? Let us see, let us Just go with me here. Hmm? 
got a man to fish question is is this adequate what are the other things that can affect him to you know uh, solving this feed for a lifetime what are other things that can affect it you know ro bird okay so more technical skills so uh, what they are saying is uh, other technical skills growing okay what is you should know where fishes are uh find fishing grounds what is ha huh? grounds slash i am just going to add time here okay so let me just uh, write uh, environment here um let me just put climate Weather, fish. Uh, yeah, tell me. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. Now we are getting somewhere. Hmm. Where all can you face competition? competition from other fishermen competition from big business right we got to be fish but then this huge business that has come and he has put huge boats and ships and trawlers and uh, i know all the fishes are more so much inland so much uh, offshore that it becomes difficult so big business can give competition other fishermen similar to him can give competition uh what else can affect hmm. what about uh, owners in banks preventing access even so when you have a large water body and there is land around it so people can just buy off their private property and prevent you access from going there it is not very aesthetically nice to see people going and fishing yeah what a calm lake with nice views right okay it can happen so that's again a competition for you to do it what else now we are getting somewhere price of fish let me put it under market selling price of fish uh what can happen to demand let us just keep it both ways boom or bust maybe there is a huge growth of suburban or a city or whatever the population the nearby areas and demand for fish increased there be supporting a business or maybe demand fell down people stop eating fish for whatever reasons uh maybe demand went down we don't know that right it went can be either way or uh, there can be other things also like for example maybe government come up with policies to uh, promote uh, 
uh, let us say a uh, uh, fish processing units fish processing units meaning a uh, small unit so that so that means that increase your demand uh, so you can get the fishes and send it what else now we are getting somewhere sustainability of the business how that happens in the fish breeding cycles what you are only referring to is can be captured under this fish breeding cycles like how much fish is there and all that apart um, ok let us put uh, The uh, policy. What is happening to our power lead? You have passed through it so many times. Huh? Uh, solution. That can affect the marine life, that can prevent you from engaging in uh, fishing business, uh, but what happens in Vihar lake, Vihar lake also people do not fish because the water is used for uh, drinking or some cases suppose it is rivers or somewhere water can be sent away for irrigation. So, when they divert it then uh, it prevents like uh, uh, one of the reasons where dams are uh, being discouraged in uh, the rivers is one it will affect the flow of say for example, even the sand as well as it is going to prevent the movement of fish. So, if traditionally farm fishermen were along the coast and near the delta region they are going to get uh, severely affected if flow of fresh water is getting stopped and getting diverted for irrigation other purposes right. So, it is what else? What else? Anything on social? Maybe this is social and cultural norms which dictates who can actually fish. You cannot train, you may not be able to train anybody and everybody to go and fish. There may be some cultural norms on who can actually go and fish or uh, when they can fish. Need not everything need not be driven in a very what can I say. Uh, so, based on acetyl like fish breeding cycles are checked and based on the, it need not happen, just based on cultural and social norms, things can happen, yeah. Huh? Local cuisine, so that can uh, where do you put it, market or social? I will just write it here, yeah. Maybe it is abundant in one type of fish, but that is not consumed locally and you are unable to export. So, policies then uh, export versus imports maybe imported chips are imported fishes are cheaper it is going to affect your uh, competition uh, or maybe you are going to fish and send it to the export market maybe there is huge demand so that is also good for you right. yeah so all the this thing so i don't know what is alternate to fish but let us write alternate Just put all the anyway, so now you got an idea, right? It is we are all being I mean, IIT. I think all are in engineers, at least engineers by training. Most of you would have done a bachelor's uh, engineering. We have been used to looking at a problem in one way, and okay, and find a solution to it. And a technical problem, okay, I need to increase employment. There is a nice uh, opportunity. 
statistic shows that India needs for many fishermen let us start training as many fishermen as possible that need not uh, be sufficient as if but expecting them to understand all these things and operate at the level of a training it is also may not be possible, but we must teach people with capacity so that they can adapt and change and improve because we do not know how these things are going to come. Some places there may be competition, some may be not, some may they may have market, some may they not have market. So, there has to be opportunities and facilitations to be done so that we can look at it in a more systemic viewpoint so that we can identify the correct leverage point and attack that. Is it because of policy issues that is happening or is it because demand is not there, is it because export restrictions, is it because of lot of big businesses that is there. Trying to understand the cause is always required before we can start teaching people to fish and expect that they are going to increase get their lifetime, they are set for life only based on this, this technical skill that has been provided that alone is not enough. If you are say for example, building a, a bridge or building a this building, the steps are known, maximum it can be get is delayed because of various reasons, but we know ok first we or to make a big hole, lay the foundations and then sequentially things come, you do not do the electrical wiring first, you get the civil structures in place and then work it out, you get the designs in place and then you know the sequence, you know what is going to happen right. So, that is uh, we are sure, but if when you come to social, economic or political system, we do not even know what are all the elements that are there. So, it is difficult for us to sequence them. Take your own life. Is it was it according completely according to plan? Like when you were young itself, you wrote, ah, this is what I am going to do this month, next month, next year, next decade, everything is laid out. Maybe your maybe your parents tried to lay out, I do not know, but whatever it is, it did not happen. We are all here not by design or not by your plan which was done long ago. It was not a linear way, ah, ok, this is what I have to do, let me do all these things in sequence. It never is, but what you do, did was you adapted based on the opportunities presented, challenges presented and your own broad goals that you have in your life, you adapted to the current opportunities, current challenges and made decisions and then sort of moved on with your life or moving on with your life. So, when it is true for us and we are going to be designing systems and solutions which is affecting not just uh, what can I say? Uh, even to build a bridge or build a building, it is not just building the building. People are going to use it. It is going to stay there. So it, it is also going to interact with that environment. You know, it is going to consume water and electricity, and people are going to come in and out. There are so many buildings in Mumbai where I'm sure you will all feel that the building is so nice, everything is nice, but the approach, the one kilometer before the building. It is so narrow and congested that it cannot support the thousands of people who are living in the building for example right. and the building is also contributing to the traffic jam and other things that is happening. So, trying to understand that and plan, so it is needed. So, 